The Gambia is a very small country in West Africa. It's actually a very beautiful country, known for its beaches. The reality is that in Gambia, the president is well known for his penchant to violate human rights. Hello, good morning, and welcome to the Fatu Radio. And this is the Today Show with Fatu. And what a day today. You'll remember it was this day in 1994 when the president now, um, Yaya Jame, came to power. Well, we all know where we are today with illegal arrest, uh, illegal detention, and uh, uh, disappearances without trace, and all of that. Fatu Kamara was the press secretary to the president. She was fired, and then she was charged under a new law that criminalizes her spreading false information. She runs an online radio show. I have calls from people who fled from the Gambia every day. <laughs> you see, every morning, every night, people are fleeing from Gambia because of the situation there. Either they were arrested and then they had to leave, so they call us and try to get us to help them. Progressively, things have gotten worse in the country. Uh, journalists have been detained. Uh, people are moving out of the country. LGBT people have been harassed. There will be no compromise on racists, drug dealers, homosexuals, pedophiles, rapists. These are not going to be tolerated in this country. I was beaten by the Gambian government, by security officers, the Gambian security, because it's an order from the president's office that any lesbian or gay caught, you're going to be punished. The climate of fear is uh, very pervasive. Um, of all the countries that I visited as a special rapporteur, this is the one where you could actually feel that uh, if you ask cer certain questions from some people, you really put them in trouble. It is very, very common in Gambia uh, for people to be picked up, especially journalists, uh, members of the opposition, and um, you know, senior government officials who the president uh, you know, just fell out of favor with. People who tortured me, um, they were eight police, eight uh, security officers. They were all uh, uniformed uh, soldiers from the office of the president. They covered their faces with masks. And then also they put plastic on top of my head and, uh, you know, so that I wouldn't be able to recognize anybody. And they, they also, at one point, they even stripped me naked and administered electricity on my genital areas. A number of groups have been implicated in these abuses, including the National Intelligence Agency and also a paramilitary group called the Junglers. They arrest people, they harass people, they detain people, and they torture people. They, they told me that because my problem was my mouth and my hand, so they decided to break my, my hand into pieces. They hit me uh, with, my, with an iron until I hear my bones crack. And then also they came with a bayonet and sliced me with the bayonet here. Some of us have their arms broken. I lost my eye, they broke my eye. And then we were left naked for hours. And for the first 31 days, we were subjected to all inhuman treatments. And we were not allowed for 31 days to wash our face, have a bath, or to change our clothes. We spoke to someone who worked as a top official in the National Intelligence Agency. He was there for 13 years. He actually confirmed the torture techniques being used by the NIA, but he himself was arrested and he ended up fleeing the country. The junglers, they are the very special elite group of the president, so they are untouchable. They can kill, they can rape, they can do whatever. They beat, they punish, they just lock you incommunicado so your family wouldn't even know where you are. I was kept five months, 17 days incommunicado. No access to lawyer, no charges, no family, no medical treatment, nothing absolutely. Imam Baba's only crime was to speak out against the illegal execution of nine people in 2012. Every day, they will pull me out of the cell, take me somewhere, beat me at it for two, three hours. Every day, till nine days. The ninth day, they took me and, uh, to a big hole like a grave. They put me there and they covered my body with sand up to my chest. And they said, now it's just to complete, to bury you completely, if you don't tell us the truth. 
In the case of torture and of disappearances, the state is obligated to investigate even a single case of torture. In the case of the Gambia, we could not ascertain a single case of any state agent being investigated, let alone prosecuted or punished. The international community needs to do more, needs to keep on pressing with the government, uh, both in private conversation and publicly uh, in solidarity with the people of the Gambia. The UK, the US, the European Union and African countries and the African Union, they need to do more, keeping on pressing President Jame to respect the rights of the people of the Gambia.